Hi there, my name is Noor Hisham and this is True Egypt. Today we're going to take a long ride to the famous time machine and to get back from this time to get back to the past. The very, very past. No! 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 No, 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 yeah, that fast. Time I would love to be in ancient Egypt. But you're going to face a problem. You don't know how to speak the language. I'll help you. They spoke ancient Egyptian language. See? Ancient Egypt, ancient language. Simple. But it's going to be the same if you know how to speak without knowing how to read or to write. And I have seen so many temples, walls, and tombs. And they have so many inscriptions on it. Um, such as snake, duck, and owl. But does it mean snake, duck, and owl? The answer is no. The ancient Egyptian people use what they can see in nature to refer to written words. And they also they use one sample to, to refer to a letter, or the whole word. And for the case of the snake, it means letter F. And for the L, means letter M. And for the bird, means letter A. And for the duck, it means Sa, which means Sun. And the most famous of them all, the Ang Sai, which means life. The there are three types of ancient Egyptian language. Hieroglyphics, which is very detailed type, and it's used for the sacred way of writing, which is used for the temple walls, the tomb walls, and very detailed, such as if we have A here, we're going to draw it with all the details, the beak, the claws, everything. There are amazing land on the Nile marshes that we love to buy. Let's write a contract for it. By the time you finish writing the contract using hieroglyphics, believe me, it will be sold. That's why they invented the second type, which is hieratic. Previous for the official paperwork, such as measurements, um, contracts, and so on. You're in love and you want to write a letter for your girlfriend to tell her how much you love her and you miss her. Oh, by the time you finish writing your letter to your lover, she'll be married to another man and have kids. That's why they invented the last type of writing, which is tomatic. Very previous for the, for the lifetime papers. And when the Greeks entered Egypt, they mixed the Demotics way with their own language to make another language, written language, which is Coptic. Still living nowadays in most of the Egyptian churches. And we all know when the Arabs entered Egypt, they changed the whole language for Arabic. That's enough of the best. Let's get back to our time machine. Leave this word and get back to the human word. Thank you for watching.